2018 Las Vegas Sun High School Football Media Day at Red Rock with our food sponsor, Greens and Proteins, with five locations across the valley. Greens and Proteins is a modern, family-friendly cafe offering all your favorite foods with a healthy twist. Sandwiches, wraps, pizzas, burgers, vegan, raw, and vegetarian-friendly meals, smoothies, juice bar, and a full HCG diet menu. We're with the Cimarron Memorial Spartans, Coach Corey Walker, joined by two juniors, Jordan Norwood and Mike Overland. Coach, second year, what, what's uh, different going into year number two? Uh, I think this year, um, everything's not coming fast and furious uh, like it was being, being hired last year, late April, early May. Uh, came in trying to learn the guys, trying to hire staff. Um, so a lot of that has been alleviated this year. Had a good uh, off-season program that we were able to go through. Uh, pretty much started back in February, March with weights, uh, speed development. So I think that's the biggest, the biggest adjustment from year one to year two. And then obviously, you know, players know what you demand of them. They know how you're gonna, you're gonna operate things. So I, I think it's, uh, it's a little bit better this year. Uh, what, what's the biggest thing you learned from uh, year one that you hope to, to do better or bring into this year? <laughs> uh, Jesus, so much. I, I think uh, it was a big adjustment for me just being new in the town uh, last year, just uh, first year in Las Vegas, uh, trying to understand the dynamics of football in Las Vegas, understanding how everything operated. I think that was that was the biggest, uh, the biggest deal. Adjusting to the heat, uh, you know, coming from down south, I mean, it's hot, uh, it's humid, and, and but we don't see the effect that it has on the numbers that we have versus out here uh, being able to, to, to kind of be strategic, understanding that a lot of guys are going both ways and, and things of that nature. So, uh, Mike, what's, what's the identity of this team? How would you kind of describe the Spartans? Uh, it's a lot of energy all the time. Everybody's usually there to play every day. Everybody's buying into what coaches having us do every day. Uh, Jordan, t tell me about the offense. I know you're at the running back. You guys going to pound the ball, be uh, versatile, or what's it looking like on that side of the ball? Offense is looking real good, maybe with the O-line. Like, running back got to trust the O-line. Then after getting that ball, trust the receivers too. But offense, looking real good. Uh, right. what, what do you think it is about Mike, who I know has a lot of uh, recruiting interest in uh, like your whole offensive line that's made that such a unit to watch? He's big. <laughs> that's number one. <laughs> um, he's big. He's, he can move too for O-line. Like many people can't move, but him, he can really move. Then uh, he's very consistent. So like every time a play comes, he's just ready to go. And, like I tell him straight up, like Mike, if you're gonna get this, and it's our game. Uh, Mike, I'll allow you to return the favor. To t tell me about Jordan. What's it like blocking for him? Um, he's fast. I have. That means I have to. Just like he said, I have to move. I have to be able to move. So I have to be able to. He has to be able to follow me. So I have to step on my game, allowing him to, so he can go to his full potential with running the ball, and show the recruiters that he can actually run the ball. I will coach well, too fast, guys. That sounds like what is, is that uh, a representative of your whole team? Are you guys team speed of strength? Um, well, that's that was a big focus of mine coming in was was just um, developing the overall team speed because as a coach, you never can't have too much speed. Uh, and then when you get big, strong guys like Mike, like Alonzo there in the back, uh, really all of our guys across the front, um, you know, the, the big guys who can move, they come at a premium. And, and it keeps coaches up at night having a game plan because there are really no weaknesses when you have big guys that can that can move, that are strong. Uh, gives us some versatility. We're able to kind of play. Uh, we can play a smash mob game if, if that's what we need to play. But we can also play a, an up-tempo speed game if that's, you know, if that's what uh, we need to do from watching film and, and, and studying our opponents. So. Uh, and lastly, I know you guys got off to a great start last year and kind of struggled down the stretch. What are you going to do differently to sustain it for a whole season? I, uh, I think that that kind of goes back with the familiar, familiarity. Sorry, I'm South guy. Um, with myself and a lot of the players, and and one thing that I kind of inherited was guys who hadn't had a lot of success. So uh, football is a grind. I mean, it's it's a grind. You win individual battles uh, within the game. So I think the first time that we experienced some adversity. Uh, in a culture shift, a lot of the guys were like, okay, we won four games, we were satisfied, uh, we won more games than we had in the previous year or two. 
So the minute that we hit the adversity, it was kind of like, okay, it's basketball season now. So I think that, um, you know, the biggest thing is <clears throat> individually, we have guys like Mike, like Norwood, uh, and others in the program that are being recruited. So guys on a daily basis are, are seeing themselves working alongside of, of potentially Division One athletes, but then also understanding the coaching staff and seeing how we prepare, what we demand of them, uh, even off the field as far as film study is concerned, is knowing your assignments, giving paper tests, to you knowing what you are supposed to be able to do. I think that now will will hopefully get us an extra win or two and push us over the hump to get to the playoffs. All right, well, that's Summer on Memorial. This is the 2018 Las Vegas Sun High School Football Media Day. Make sure you go to lasvegasun.com for all our coverage during the season, including our picks and podcasts, which starts weekly on the first day of school.